think I think we may be really Christopher corrupt. G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, San pulls the strings without getting his hands I, dirty. I get it. I get it. Man. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. In four weeks, San killed 31 people, old men, women, even a few teenagers. And San's people made sure every paper reported it. Thanks. Thanks, Sam. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack. Please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. But I need half a million. So... <laughs> I'm gonna have to actually put it there. I can't decide! Let's put it there. That will work. I don't think that clogs the screen at all, does it? Uh, so yeah, get, get voting. What? Right, okay, so uh, whilst you guys are voting, let's have a look at some stuff. So the construction of the cinema museum is being postponed again. Uh, a legendary singer has come to Freeburg. This is a little bit like Papers, Please, isn't it? It's basically Papers, Please for cops, as far as I could tell, with odd combinations. Uh, and then Francis Kendrick has announced the retirement date, so I guess he's definitely not going to be taking my job. <laughs> Oh shit, our car is, is not good either. Like, I think we've not got much money. There's a big sale going on today, and I don't want to miss it. Can I have a day off, says Roy. Five star bastard. I, I'm t I wish there was an option to say, yes, don't come back. Roy is honest though, yeah, but fuck Roy. He could have lied. Get him swooted. Bear off without him, fire him. Yes, but tomorrow. Can't um I can't actually really do anything with them. I I know that it was like we thought you could fire people on that menu, but it doesn't seem like it. Choose a song to play. Oh hang on, what's that? Chopin. That will definitely get me flagged. Let's do that one. Chopin is common use, but try telling YouTube's auto flagging. Cause motherfuckers. We've received a frightening call from the local cathedral. This morning, the abbot discovered that someone had entered the old cemetery during the night and painted all the tombstones with satanic symbols and some have been broken. It seems there are even marks from a shovel, but the abbot would say no more. So these are our, our, our different our different gang of people. Now, I, I take desecration of graveyards very seriously in my job. Um, so we're going to send somebody. Uh, that's Sunday? Uh... Birch and Birch Junior, amazing. You two are going on a job together. But I am going to send Stovall to this. I think he is a very important man. Uh, and I think he will get the job done. Because there's no one there now, so he's just going to investigate. But I think it needs to be taken seriously. Or maybe we should send Vandal. He is what's professional. Actually, no, fuck it. Let's send, let's send Stovall. This at the police station. Oh, so in the labour market. Oh my god, we can hire people. Let's hire PC Platonic. Platonic. Um, I want you for shift B. If I'm honest. Uh, and we... Let's hire you for shift A. Ooh! A vandalism at the Atticus Tower. Businessman saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans on his new car. I'm going to send Birch and Birch Jr. Uh, maybe... Maybe Grant. But uh, now they'll be fine. Oh, fuck it. Let's just do that then. How dare you suggest Newt is a swear. I'd, why have we started with the Pingu thing? When did it start? A waitress named Mila reports she's just served Chicken Eddie and Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal who is sitting in there right now. So let's send Vandal and Robbins to deal with this dangerous criminal. Stovall. Brilliant. Like, I don't know how you found the offender, man, but good job. Oh, and there's... Oh, uh, uh, oh. Oh, shit, it was a false alarm. Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh God. Okay. Uh, are you saying that you need someone... Oh, Christ. Should I send Stoll? I might send Stovall. 
I guess, yeah, send Stovall. Is this a corruption task? Oh. I, I get that they needed a bouncer, but I wanted him to do a good job. I don't want to ruin Stovall, so I'm going to send Stamp, Samady. And just see, just see how it rolls. Is that it? We good? Oh, shit me, what's this? Oh, no, it's... It's fucking Sans Ice Arena, and there's drugs going on there. A clown carrying balloons at the skating rink is selling crack to teenagers. That is exactly what we want. Uh, I'm going to send the birches to deal with drug sales because it's only a teenage uh, a clown carrying balloons. What's the worst that can happen? Oh! Oh god, a suicide threat. Holy shit. A naked man carrying a cast of gasoline is threatened to set himself on fire unless his favourite chewing gum becomes popular again. That is... It's not great, is it, mate? I... It's not great. I'm going to send Van Dahl to deal with you because I don't really know... Maybe I should send Grant too. I mean, you are, he is just, as horrible as that is, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's trying to like blackmail them into making chewing, his chewing gum popular again. Uh, and he also is just setting himself on fire. He's not a threat to others. Maybe I'll just send Vandal. I kind of don't want Vandal. I'm, no, I'm going to keep Vandal back because I'm really scared that they'll get like burns or something. Uh, hello, Sam Sorkin, report. Hey, Samity has quit. It's a good thing I didn't send Stovall. I guess I just wasn't cut out to be a cop. Well, your your professionalism was... Oh, shit. Below average. And we may have just taken some money for that. Um, that's fine, because we can... Can I fire you now? Isn't he going to quit anyway? So I think I can just hire. Let's get Dan Charleston for shift A. There we go. So he's going to take over when uh, Samedi leaves. In the AM. Don't come back, you douchebag. That's fine. If he wants to go work for someone else, then good for him. As the police arrive... Oh, my God. As the police arrive, a clown is seen making balloon animals for the kids. Cover up in a raincoat and pretend to be a customer. I think the birches might fuck that up. Or did I send Grant? I think I said Grant. Um, <laughs> uh, take the clown onto the ice and round up any witnesses. It might just be a clown. Carefully watch the clown from the stands. I think carefully watch the clown from the stands, right? Oh, if you fire, you have to pay for unemployment, by the way. Those of you say fire him. So we'll just let him quit in his own time. I tent the birches. Oh, fuck. The birches are going to mess this up. Just just watch. 11, 11. Amazing. How? How did, how did a clown at a fucking ice rink with balloons escape, guys? Oh, suicide threat report. How did you do? Oh my god. How did how did the offender escape? You all have fucking cars. <laughs> Motherfucking birches. They're just ruining everything, man. So Samadhi's gone. Uh oh, we're ending the day, aren't we? Of course. Day four. Uh bloody police. Stop sending them together. They're dreadful. Yeah, but they're a father and son team, man. You know, they're like that. They're gonna. It's gonna be great. Why did I send the shittiest guys to the drug dealer? Because if they got stabbed, I don't really care. That's literally it. It was damage control. I don't want to send my like good guys. Also, I I I'd fully understand Butch Senior and Junior if you'd shot him in the leg to stop him getting away. You know, just I, that that shit flies in my police department. Or just I don't know. You get a taser. Do something. Don't just stand there. Um, so there's something going on with feminism this today, which, as always, is particularly annoying uh, because it just, for fuck's sake, it just explodes into ridiculousness. Um, enemies are using feminists to destroy Freeburg. Uh, feminist organisations denied official registration. Good. Uh, Robespierre to reveal his identity when the time is right. Also, yeah, literally 50-50 on those votes, guys. Still, on corrupt or not. Also, bad cop, guys. Come on. Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Doesn't Hello, sound like Laura. My name is Steve. Fuck you! Boyd, is that right? To get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop. 
jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Oh. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door on his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally, when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. But if you not the in-laws always all? blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. Oh. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. Uh. So we have an agreement. Sally's going to track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course means anything at all. It's a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. Dude, it looks like your house is a mess. Hello. Mrs. Oh Markham, my this God. is Boyd. Oh, that dog. is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to is her? Is she alive? Don't worry, Jack. I have narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Dude, oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. Energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call. And my patience is running thin. Dude. Well, that's that. Car is getting worse, isn't it? Definitely getting worse. She is a bitch in the best way. Oh, oh dear. Mr. Armstrong has been taking antidepressants three times a day, but ran out of his prescription. Isn't that a bit hardcore? Three times a day, man? Also, you ran out of your prescription and didn't go, like... You didn't go, I'm running out of my prescription in like a week. I'll, um, you know, deal with it in advance. Did you not? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> but yes, you could go home. And I think it's probably safer to say yes than yes, but come tomorrow. We let the guy who wanted to hit a steam sale off. This dude needs, I know, like it's far too serious. Like it's, it's a serious business thing. Fucking Roy. This is the guy that went to the sale. This is the guy who went to the sale. I said yes versus yes, but come tomorrow for um, the antidepressants just in case there was a problem. Because, you know, the pharmacy could fuck him over. Roy, I'm glad to see the chat's agreeing. Roy can fuck off. I was climbing up the stairs and I started feeling a bit dizzy. They're pushing their fucking luck today, aren't they? No, you can't have the day off feeling a little bit dizzy. My ass. Also, we've got Roy and Price today, guys. All the fucking ridiculousness. I need a wee. Can I go home? So what? I'm so what? That's bullshit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I spin around in a circle and feel dizzy. Does that mean I can take a fucking day off? Who knows? Anyway, so. This is a wonderful thing. Uh, a racist gang has made some trouble in the city. Like, suddenly, it's gone a bit hardcore. 
Uh, they're capturing black townspeople and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to a local radio station promising to kill all black doctors, firemen and police. The racists are gaining more and more followers and even some of our citizens support them. Jesus Christ, this is a bit close to, close to the fucking thing, isn't it? Uh, you'll have to fl fire all of your black employees over the next two days due to mounting racial tensions. Or, just saying, maybe you go, hey dude, have a fucking week off? Until we've sorted it? Yeah, I, I... No, I'm not firing anyone. Number one, they could sue the fucking, like, police force. Number two... Number two. Uh, no. Maybe. Oh, God. I don't know. Oh, God, there's a guy who's gonna go and fuck up some expensive cars with a long iron rod. This sounds like a job for Roy and Price. Bye, Roy and Price. Hopefully, if you're very lucky, you get stabbed or something. Black activist Ronnie Moore was found shot outside of his home. That does make sense in light of what's happening. I'm going to send our very finest lead mole. Uh, and then I'm going to put him in as... Oh, no, maybe I should keep him. I should keep him, shouldn't I? Just in case... In case we need someone else for investigations. What's this? A carjacking in the suburbs. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, a gas station service surveillance camera. Recorded cards on the stolen vehicles list. Let's send Austin and Asano for that one. Will I not need another for investigations? Okay, well, if, all, if that happens, then I will pop them on the other one. Uh, they drove by in a sedan and they shot like a machine gun. I didn't see much, says Mr. Graham, who was drunk. Mr. Clayton says, I only heard muffled shots. One of the neighbours said he got what he deserved. He's been causing trouble for a long time and recently there's been a lot of cursing and carrying on. Ms. Cobb said, I don't remember the car and the neighbourhood was quiet. I never heard any shots. Hmm. And then Mr. Carpenter said, the police these days don't do anything. I almost died myself. I went to buy some medicine. I was nearly hit by some idiot's car. So... I guess, that's, I guess we can't do anything yet. I guess we have to, like, assemble the frames in order. But we can't do that until we have more information. Um, once again, Roy and Price have been completely useless. Thanks, guys. Oh, hello, a suspicious individual in the park. He's been watching children and taking photographs. That is going to get him fucked up by some people. So let's send play tonic. Oh, the carjacking. The driver's nowhere to be seen. Search the car. Like, wait at a safe distance for the driver to appear. Surely, that's... He might not come back. And uh, there might not be any eyewitnesses. Let's search the car, dude. You two. Civilian killed? What? What? How the fuck did that happen? Shit. Music is brilliant. Hello, suspicious individual report. Did you deal with him? You caught the offender. Good job. I mean, he was only taking photos of kiddies. It's the worst that could happen. Uh, okay. Oh, guys. This is the perfect excuse to get rid of Roy or Price. Let's send Roy to be our toughest cop in a martial arts fight. He might, it might improve him. With any luck, he doesn't come back. Just <laughs> clean him out. <laughs> oh, homicide report. Let's see. Oh, I got some new frames. Bring it. Let me see this investigation. What's going on with this car? There's a car. There's another car. They drove by in a sedan and shot like a machine gun. Does that go in there? And then that goes maybe in there? And he had a few muffled shots. Like, you don't know what... It's not a machine gun, is it? That, can I move that up? Does that go there? Is that relevant? I'm not entirely sure that's relevant. That's a sedan, isn't it? And it matches that. So I'm going to leave that for now and come back to it. Kevin's throat bar. There's a fight. What's happening? Dancers are fighting over tips. So there's a cat fight. Ooh, let's send Price and Asano. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, and a report. Oh, for fuck's sake. Roy has gone up to 115. I just about nailed the chap a couple times, but he was too fast for me and won on points. 
I don't really understand the rules, so I can't keep track of points very well. But he was all right. He showed me a few tricks after the match. I got carried away a little and pulled my back. Think I can take a day off? No, you can't. But he's gone from five to 115. So I think we could say that was actually good. Holy shit, guys. The bouncer's really wasted. May I suggest that the bouncer perhaps should uh, not be working there? Um, service weapon, drawing that, terrible idea. Shutting off the music, turning up the lights, probably a good idea. We're not drawing the weapon. No, we're not drawing the service weapon, guys. What's wrong with you? What if, I mean, we're, we've sent two of our, like, idiot cops. They might shoot someone. Turn up the lights. That usually stops it, doesn't it? Oh, God. Uh... A bucket of cold water? I think we'll do that. People will like that, who are watching at least. Um, separating the girls is probably going to end in the cop getting hurt. Strippers going at it and don't interfere. Bad call. Cool. I'm going to do bucket of water. Offender escaped. So, the two naked strippers just, like, ran out of there, guys. How the fuck does that work? Like, you'd notice that. Do we not have CCTV in this city either? Can we not, like, you know, just follow them? It's useless. These cops, man. What the fuck? No wonder nothing gets done in this city. See the report on the fight at the Octopus Restaurant. Oh, you caught him. Brilliant. Well done. Or her. End the day. Let's end the day. Jesus.